Hello, welcome back to Fighting 50. I wanted to do a video to kind of show the difference between if you do straight iron your hair and if you don't. So I'm gonna do three hairstyles with my hair natural. Um, I'm gonna just dry it a little bit. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna straight iron my hair and then I'm gonna do the three hairstyles with it after it's been straight ironed and you could compare to see the difference and see why I go through the trouble to straight iron. Anyway, let me get to the hairstyles. First, let me take my robe off before I dropped out of heat. Okay, so I have blow dried my hair. This is what it looks like natural, pretty frizzy. And I am going to do a quick, very quick, I'm gonna just show you three really fast things that how I wear my hair for every day. And you're gonna see the difference. So first off, I'm gonna just do a ponytail. That's what she said. Why would you waste all this time for a ponytail? Well, let me show you. This is literally natural, like 100% natural. This is what it would look like without straight ironing it, just wearing it natural. I'm gonna go up close so you could see what it looks like. I personally would never go out anywhere looking like this. For myself, like someone else could just totally love it. But for me, I feel like it's frizzy, it's unruly, it's like coarse, the white hairs are kind of going everywhere. I don't like the way it looks. Now, I wear my hair in a bun, you all know, that follow me on Instagram and everywhere. This is like, I, this is literally, in a bun, I feel like I like it because it's full. So I do sometimes run around like this. I like a big, messy, fat bun. To me, that's just cute. I don't like the way this looks. So if I wasn't going to straight iron my hair, I would at least slick this back with some product so that it didn't show the frizzy like hairs. So, but the big fat bun, because my hair is um, uh, full and all the volume is there, I think it's really cute and I would definitely wear it. Now let's see, let's look at the difference between have to kind of get up so you can see that. This looks horrible. Absolutely ridiculous. I would not wear this like this. I would need to straight iron it. The fullness here is fine, but I don't like the frizziness. I don't like that it looks undone. It doesn't look like it was done. So I don't like it and I wouldn't wear it. With it actually straight ironed, this look is really cute with the right outfit with the hat on. It looks cute. Like this, I would never just wear it. Just not a look. Okay, we are almost done. Now I'm going to put some styling products. All I put so far is when my hair was damp. I put some um, rose hip seed oil on my scalp and I massaged it in completely. But besides that, I don't have any product on my hair yet. So even though my hair is now straight and it's looking a little bit better, this is the problem. Do you see? So here's the products that I use to get rid of that. 
Okay, so for this situation that I have, and that most women with gray hair have this unruly, like look at how cute my hair would be, right? If it wasn't naturally gray, but because it's naturally gray, it is <laughs> has a mind of its own and it wants to be wild. So I use a grooming forming cream. This one is actually in the men's section, but I noticed that it works best for my hair because it's strong. You only need, it smells very good. You only need a tiny bit of this. Like I'm talking about tiny bit. I'm going to put a little bit Look at, it is so sticky, but look, it actually makes it stick. It makes it go down. Do you know how hard it is to find something that works on my hair like this? Look at that. Isn't that crazy? You need such a little bit and you just put it like, if you use too much, it's it's going to be a bad thing. So everything in moderation, people. I'm going to use a little bit more. Again, look at it. It looks like, I think it's kind of crazy. So you want to make sure you get it just on the tips of your fingers and a tiny bit. And you're literally going to just touch your hair. Okay. That's the difference between not straight ironing and straight ironing. So let's see what my hair looks like in those simple, easy, everyday styles, but with my hair straight ironed. Or not straight ironed. If I had a much bigger bun, but if I just want to pull it up in a bun really quick because I'm feeling hot or I just don't want to deal with it, then you have your bun. And then I'm going to show you the other look, the one where I'll wear with my hat. Okay, so I'm going to go grab, throw on my outfit to show you the next look with the outfit. Okay. <laughs> I'm kind of a little bit mortified right now. I have packed on the pounds since quarantine started. So I went to go put on a dark denim skirt I have and it barely fits. So I'm not that thrilled right now. Kind of annoyed, but I was gonna put a different shirt on with it, but because it's so, tight skirt. It doesn't look good with the other skirt. So it's a dark denim skirt. I've literally gained about I don't know, 12 to 15 pounds and I'm starting my diet. And well, every day I say I'm starting my diet, but I'm actually really starting my diet and I need to start this diet and I need to lose 15 pounds, which is very difficult right now for me. It's, I'm just having a hard time with it. So maybe you could help me stay accountable and follow along. But yeah, it's not, it's not good people. So I am going to do the same Thing. 
I'm going to put a very low pigtail right behind my ear. So it's right behind your ear. You're going to make your braids really loose. Make it extremely tight at the bottom because you're gonna fluff the middle of it. So make the bottom really tight. Make, make sure they're about even. You could keep going further down, but I'm just showing you this for now. We're going to fluff out your braid so that it's full up. It's so that you're pushing on where the braid part is, where it connects. See where it, where the where the hair is twined together. You're gonna push up on that. See how it looks like it got so much volume. So if you have thinner hair, a loose braid, and then you push right where you where the hair is brought together, then you're just gonna. Give it a little bit more. I would never just wear this like this, right? So you're gonna this hat is a little bit it needs to do you think I'm too old to pull this off? And there you have it. I've had a lot of people tell me, strangers actually come up to me and say, oh, I love your hair. But I've had strangers come up to me quite a few and say, oh my goodness, it's time to cut those locks off. And they're dead serious. And I'm just like, wow, okay. Uh, thank you. <laughs> My hair, my hat is actually, it was in the back seat of the car and it got a little bit contorted. So it doesn't quite look as cute as it would if it was pristine, but that's what it would look like. So tell me down below, is this a definite no or yes? And also tell me what you think about having your hair straight ironed opposed to leaving it natural. Do you think it made a difference or do you think I'm kind of like obsessing on it and like thinking it needs to be that way when it really doesn't? Or do you see a really big difference like I do? Because I truly see a big difference, but I might be mistaken. So let me know down below and let me know if this hairstyle is something that you would consider wearing in your 50s and if I should continue to wear it or if it's a definite no. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helped give you some tips on how to style your hair. And if it did, comment down below. If you loved my videos, subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, hit notifications, and I hope you have a blessed and wonderful week.